Hello everyone, how are you? Today we're going to talk about just yet and already. Evet, bugün just yani henüz. Ha, şimdi ya da yet yine henüz ya da already çoktan halden anlamına gelen bu üç zarfı göreceğiz. And let's start from just. Just has two meanings and we will start from the first one here. Just means recently. Yani birinci anlamı just daha henüz, daha yeni anlamında. We will see the examples and understand it better. We have just bought a new drug for our living room. Not just this, daha yeni. We have just bought. Burada gördüğünüz gibi perfect tense var. We have just bought. Daha henüz yeni aldık. A new rack. Yeni bir halı, yeni bir klim aldık. Salonumuz için. We have just bought a new rack for our living room. And the second example. My brother has just come back from Amsterdam. Okay. Abim Amsterdam'dan daha yeni geldi. Henüz daha yeni geldi. Has just come back. We get a very perfect tense so. And the second example goes, I have just had dinner, so I'm not hungry. Burada da diyor ki, get a perfect tense kullandık. I have just had dinner. Daha şimdi, daha yeni akşam yemeği yedim. Bu yüzden aç değilim. And the fourth example here is, we use a different tense here, future tense. Evet, just the, sadece perfect tense değil, bazen diğer tenslerle, past simple ya future, anlattığı şey böyle bir değişir. Diğer tenslerle görüyoruz. Mesela burada future tense de kullandım. I'll just finish this homework, then we can go out. Burada size gayet açık. Ödevi şimdi bitiriyorum ve ardından çıkabiliriz. Yani burada just'ın daha çok soon anlamı var. Okay, just the second meaning of just is only. Yani sadece. Let's see these examples. Hey, calm down. It was just a joke. Okay, this is something, for example, you have done something to your friend. It meant to be a joke, but your friend didn't like it. Your friend is you know, a little angry about that thing and you say, hey, calm down sakin ol, it was just a joke sadece bir şakaydı burada, burada only the color, it was only a joke ya da it was just a joke and the next example don't get mad at your sister she's just a baby but I said, and get mad Aynı get angry gibi sinirlenmek anlamında Kız kardeşine sinirlenme Don't get mad at your sister She's just a baby O sadece bir bebek And the third example You ate up the cake So ate up the cake means like you finished the whole cake You finished the cake You eat it all Pastayı bitirdin You ate up the cake And the second person says, no, I had just two slices. O da inkar biliyor değil mi? And he denies it, saying, no, sadece iki dilim yedim. And after just, we're going to see the next two adverbs, yet and already. And yet means henüz. Ama just'tan farklı olarak yeti daha çok sorularda ya da negatif yapılarda. Hani mesela bir önce gördüğümüz daha henüz dışarı çıktık, daha henüz başladık. Bu sefer ise daha henüz yapmadık, daha henüz dışarı çıkmadık, daha henüz ödevimizi bitirmedik gibi olumsuz ya da soru yapılarda. Yani ödevini bitirdiniz mi gibi cümlelerle koyuyoruz. So, we use yet with negative sentences and with questions and here we're going to see some you know uses of yet usually with you know negative form of the sentence the first one goes we haven't finished the exercise yet 
Gene bir perfect tense yapısında we haven't finished bitirmedik alıştırmayı henüz yani henüz alıştırmayı bitirmedik we haven't finished the exercise yet and the second one I haven't spoken to my dad yet for example your friend is asking you like hey did you speak to your dad so are we going you know is he going to take us to the barbecue party over the weekend There you say, oh no, I haven't spoken to him yet, or I haven't spoken to my dad yet. Yani henüz babamla konuşmuş değilim, henüz konuşmadım. But I will speak to him soon. Ama konuşacağım. O yüzden süreç devam ediyor. Henüz konuşmadım. O yüzden perfect tense. Ama konuşacağım. And the third one. She hasn't called me yet. I'm still waiting. Um, now you are waiting for a phone call from a friend of yours who is a lady because we see she you see she here and she hasn't called me yet oh henüz beni aramadı she hasn't called me yet I'm still waiting hala bekliyorum and the last example with yet now it's a two sentence dialogue can you drive Way, you know, simple. So, arabas sümeyi biliyor musun? Arabas sümeyi biliyor musun? Ah, not yet. Not yet is a çok kokulan bir bir konuşma kalıbı. Not yet. Henüz değil. Yani bir şey yapacaksınız ama henüz olmadı. Not yet. I am taking driving lessons though. Henüz değil. Ama sürüş dersleri alıyorum. And after yet, the last one here, already. In Turkish, already means çoktan, haliden. So, we, again, we use it with different tenses, but, you know, the, you know, most of the time you say it with perfect tense, but there are also times you say it with past simple or, yeah, you could say it with past simple. But we will see some examples with present perfect tense here. Let's see. I have already seen that movie. Let's see another one. Yeah, for example, you are you you are you are trying to decide what movie to watch, and you just you know check out the DVDs or your movie archive, and um, you say, oh, let's let's watch this one. Let's watch this movie together, huh? Then your friend says, uh, I've already seen that movie. Of you mean, man, çoktan izledim. I already. Let's see another one. Hadi gel başka bir tane izleyelim. And the second one. We have already finished the exercise. We are waiting for the teacher. Evet, alıştırmayı çoktan bitirdik. Öğretmeni bekliyoruz. We have already finished the exercise. We are waiting for the teacher. And... Next one. Okay, this is just the third day, but we have already learned a lot of things. Mesela bir kursa başladınız. For example, you just start. You just uh, start a new course. Let's say an English course, and the course has been doing so well. You know, it's been doing wonders to you. And you say, "Wow, this is just the third day." Bu Henüz daha üçüncü gün. Bir önceki just kullanımını hatırlayın. Sadece daha üçüncü gün. Fakat çoktan bir sürü şey öğrendik bile. We have already learned a lot of things. And the last example. It's just two o'clock. Evet bir önceki just kullanımını bir örnek daha burada. It's just two o'clock. Daha saat iki. Daha henüz iki. You can't be hungry already. Gördüğünüz gibi already sadece perfect tense değil, başka tenseler de başka yapılarda. Anlatacağımız şeye göre farklı yapılarda kullanıyoruz. Burada mesela you can't be hungry already. Aç olamazsın daha şimdiden. You can't be hungry already. So this is how we use just yet and already. And you're going to see the examples in the book as well and do the exercises and understand how you use them much better. See you in the next class. Now we're going to talk about the difference between present perfect and past simple. 
It's a frequently asked question. You know, many students are confused with comes to use, uh, when to use present perfect or past simple. Evet, bu çok sorulan bir sorudur. Present perfect is my glinjas, past simple diye bir şey zaman nasıl glinjas? Present perfect. So we use present perfect to talk about things that are still relevant now. Evet, adından da anlaşılacağı, anlaşılacağı gibi present perfect, yani şu an dair bir şey, geçmişte bile başlamış olsa, şu anda hala devam eden, şu anda hala e, geçerli olan durumlarda present perfect konuyoruz. Present özellikle bunu diyorum çünkü şimdiki zaman aslında perfect tense. I have been living in China since 2016. Evet. 2016 yılından beri, evet 2016 yılı geçmişte ama hala Çanakkale'de yaşıyoruz değil mi? Mesela 2016'da başladık ve hala Çanakkale'deyiz. O yüzden burada bir geçmiş zaman olsa bile şu anda hala devam eden bir durum olduğu için biz present tense kullandık. Present perfect tense. Bu da I've been living in Çanakkale since 2016 or 2016. And my uncle has been a teacher for 12 years. It's a sadece şu anki zamanda kullanırsak evet benim amcam ya da dayım öğretmendir derken my uncle is a teacher. O zaman sadece is kullanırsın. Present simple. Ama 12 yıldan beri yani 12 yıl öncesinin 12 yıl önce başlığında söylüyorsun ve şu anda hala öğretmen olduğunda söylüyorsun. O zaman bunu tek cümle yaptığında perfect tense yani present perfect tense sunuyoruz. My uncle has been a teacher for 12 years. I have been calling you since 10 a.m. Bu ise saat ondan beri saat ondan beri sana ulaşmaya çalışıyorum. Seni arıyorum. Neler isen? Where have you been? Bu ise gene karşımızda kişiyle konuşuyoruz. Evet o kişiye ulaştık ama daha henüz daha şimdi ulaştık ve şu ana kadar saat ondan beri hep seni ulaşmaya çalışıyordum. I have been calling you since 10 a.m. And Sarah and I have been friends for two years. Ve yine aynı şekilde Sarah and I are friends. We are friends. Ama şu sadece present simple kullanımda dersi ki Sarah and I are friends. Biz arkadaşız. Ama iki yıldır derken bu sefer Selin and I have been friends for two years. Yani iki yıl önce başladı arkadaşımız ve hala arkadaşımız, arkadaşımız hala devam ediyor. Ve bunu tek cümle almak için kullanacağımız tense, present perfect tense. Ve gene hatırlatalım, since 2016, gördüğünüz gibi belli bir zaman verdiğimizde şu tarihten beri, şu olay olduğundan beri, o zaman since kullanıyoruz, since 2016. Ama şu kadar zamandır, 5 yıldır, 10 dakikadır, 55 yıldır gibi ifadelerse ise since day before kullanıyoruz. So when we use since, we just put a time mark. So when we talk about this, you know, exactly when that thing happened, we use since. But when we're talking about the amount of time, so for how long has that Being, is that thing being relevant? We use for. And what is that? Saat ondan beri since 10 a.m. Ama burada iki yıldır dediğimizde ise bu sefer for prepositional kullanıyoruz. And what about past simple? We use past simple to talk about finished situations or actions. And evet, past simple neden basit için kullanıyoruz? bitmiş yani geçmişte olmuş bitmiş durumlar ya da eylemler için kullanıyoruz. Present perfect'te hala geçerli bir koruyan ama past simple ise geçmiş. Mesela bu soru daha önce hiç yaptın mı ettin bir şekilde sorduğumuz ve perfect tense kullandığımız have you ever sorusu. İlginçtir. Geçmişte bir o deneyimi var mı diye şekilde sorduğumuz soru yine present perfect kullanıyoruz. Bu da İngilizce'nin Değişik özelliklerden birisi. Have you ever been abroad? So abroad means another country like Spain or Portugal, Canada. Yani yurt dışı. Yani hiç yurt dışında bulundun mu? Hiç yurt dışına gittin mi? Evet, son 
Jones Present Perfect de sormuş ama cevapta evet şu zamanı gitmiştim şeklinde bu sefer her zamanda söylediğimiz için past simple kullanacağız. Mesela yes I have evet gittim. For example last year I traveled to France and Spain. Evet mesela geçen sene evet gördüğünüz gibi ne zaman yaptığımız o ayı ne zaman yaptığımızı söylüyoruz ve ne zaman olduğu belli geçmiş bitmiş ve o yüzden geçmiş zaman kullandı. Last year I traveled to France and Spain. Also I went to Russia three years ago. Ve aynı zamanda Rusya'ya gittim üç yıl önce. Last year three years ago. So if you see this kind of, this, this kind of past time expressions we always use past simple. And have you ever been to Istanbul? Evet, hiç bu aynı bu soruyu mesela yani ever yapsın da. Have you ever been to Istanbul? Hiç İstanbul'da gittin mi? Hiç İstanbul'da bulundun mu? Of course I have. Tabii ki. Last summer. Hmm, geçen yaz. Demek ki geçen yaz olmuş bir kış bir durumu anlatacağız ve gene geçmiş zaman kullanıyoruz. Yani past simple. Last summer I went to Istanbul to visit my cousins who live there. We hung out in Kadıköy and had a great time together. Evet, geçen sene gittim İstanbul'a ne yapmak için? To visit my cousins. Kuzenlerimi ziyaret etmek için, kuzenlerimi görmek için. Kuzenlerim de orada yaşıyormuş. We had hung out in Kadıköy because we hang out dışarıda beraber vakit geçirmek. Hani Türkçe takılmak dediğimiz. We hung out in Kadıköy. And had a great time together. Kadıköy'de takıldık ve harika zaman geçirdik beraber. So now I'm going to give you some homework from your course book and workbook. Stay tuned. And this is the course book. So we're going to open unit five. What on earth? And It starts from page 54 with a reading text here and also there are some exercises and also you will, there's a very entertaining puzzle here. I think you should all check it out. And also here is a dialogue on page 56 and then 50 on 57. There's a short quiz about traveling. And then you will see another reading text about some outdoor sports and traveling as well. And here is the grammar box, uh, grammar box about just already and yet. And then and there's a reading text here and also there's a dialogue here. I want you to read them very carefully. And then do the listening part and answer these questions here on page 62. And here is another reading and writing part. And after you read this, you will answer these questions. And the last part of the diagonal unit is a little past simple present perfect exercise for you. Okay, so. Now let's have a look at the workbook. Again, on page 30, what on earth, unit 5. And it starts with some examples with perfect tense here. I want you to read them carefully after you know you can do some exercise with just already and yet so on page 31 and match the statements exercise. And another perfect tense exercise and present perfect past simple exercise. And there's a picture and you know vocabulary matching exercise here. And then another vocabulary exercise here and reading and you're going to read a dialogue and you will put these sentences in the correct place here. Uh, put the key. Jumleri uh, put anlama göre doğru yere yerleştireceğiz. And also there are some questions for you to answer for the job again. Bazı sorular var. Um, and there's a reading text. Okay, so you're going to read this and you're going to complete this, you know, blanks by using the information given in the text. And the last one is another vocabulary exercise with a short reading text followed by a writing a paragraph text.
Okay, well, write the paragraph about your perfect whole day ever, Buddha. Sorry to get you this. Okay, uh, en güzel tatili bize yazarak gönderebilirsiniz. Buraya kalıp bir fotoğrafını çekebilirsiniz ya da bir word file'a e, yazıp bize gönderebilirsiniz. On page 38 and unit 5 finishes here. So, okay guys, so that's all for this week and I'll see you in the next class. Don't forget to wash your hands and stay home and stay safe. See you next week. Bye. A lake van. Turkey's largest lake, covering 1,450 square miles with a maximum depth over 1,400 feet, sits in the southeast of the country. It's one of the biggest lakes in the world classified as Ender Eik. It has no outlet. At its shore eyes is the 9,600 feet volcano Nemrut, and four islands dot its surface. Kaputas Beach. Turkey has nearly 1,000 miles of Mediterranean coastline, so it isn't hard to find your perfect beach. For many, that's Kaputas Beach. It lies 10 miles or so west of Kass, at the outlet of a narrow valley, bookended by steep cliffs. The most attractive aspect of Kaputas Beach is that there's no development. Mount Ararat. Mountains named in the book of Genesis as the landing place of Noah's Ark following the flood. It makes sense, as the higher of the massif's two peaks, Greater Ararat, 16,854 feet, is the tallest point in Turkey. As such, it dominates the landscape of the entire region, visible for dozens of miles in most directions. Its summit is covered by an ice cap year round. Lishan Way. Hike the 300 mile Lishan Way, which stretches from Muladanese to just shy of Antalya. Opened in 2000 as the country's first long distance trail, it's been ranked one of the world's 10 best walks by the Sunday Times. The route has many inland sections but provides plenty of awesome sea views from mountains high above the water, and also passes through plenty of ruins. It takes its name from Lycia, an ancient kingdom based in the region as far back as the 15th century BC. Five point two. Hello, Maggie. Now, what is wrong with you today? I feel terrible. I have bitten by a bug. Ah, how it happened? I've been in a short trip. Come close, Carol. Maggie has bite by a bug recently. Where have you been, Maggie? I've been in a small town where my grandma lives. It's a really nice place, but I've bitten by bugs two times and I'm so bad. Have you had fever, Maggie? No, I haven't. Then don't worry. 
I don't think you have got poisoned. No, I haven't. Oh, Maggie, you always like staying in a bed. It is just a bit normal. I think you should be more careful next time you visit your grandma. Do you guys think I should stay off school for a few days? Should I stay in bed? So come to school as normal. What a shame. I've got a biology exam tomorrow. My name is Andrei Voronin. I'm from Russia, the world's largest nation. My country's population is about 145 million. Our flag colors are amazing, white on the top, blue in the middle and red on the bottom. If you ask me about what Russia is famous for, I should say the literature. Russian literature is famous all over the world with writers like Tolstoy and Fyodor Dostoevsky. My country has 14 land neighbors like Norway and Finland. Estonia and Ukraine, Georgia and Azerbaijan, Kazakhstan and North Korea and China. The capital city of Russia is Moscow and our official language is Russian.